G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this month's challenge of the month is a little bit different. As many of you know by now, in this last month I've gone a little bit t-shirt crazy. Now I didn't realise I would love doing this so much, I did a bit of a tester campaign a few months back and launched a Draw with Jazza shirt, but you guys loved it and I loved seeing you love it. Since then I've designed a few more shirts and the process is really addictive of making something that people love and loving it myself and wearing it myself and I feel like in the same way that in the past where people have seen that I have an Aperture Science wallet and they go, hey bro, I like your wallet. There's like this weird point of connection between people who understand it and also an attachment and sentimentality between the wearer or the owner and what they're wearing or owning. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is I'm loving doing shirts and I think you might love doing them too. And that's why for this challenge of the month, the theme is arty outfit. For this month's challenge of the month, participants will be required to design an art themed t-shirt. You are welcome to include draw with jazzy characters or branding if you wish, but it's supposed to be themed around art supplies and creativity and having fun with art. Your design may also include pop culture references. For example, this shirt that I'm wearing is a little bit of a nod to the scene in Indiana Jones where the guy says, You must choose. But choose wisely. But instead of Cups and the Holy Grail, it's art supplies. Another example of a nod to pop culture is this limited t-shirt that I'm only releasing for this month to celebrate the launch of Game of Thrones and it's called the Graphite Throne. Are you worthy to sit on the throne? Do you perhaps consider yourself the mad king or queen of art? Do not attempt to seize this throne with a light heart for when you play the game of art, you win or you erase. The point is, in your submission, feel free to make references like this, but don't rip off other people's copyright or IP. <laughs> make your design more themed around art supplies, colours, paints. I encourage you to design your shirt around the theme of having fun with art. And perhaps using iconography and imagery like pencils and paint and supplies and quotes and things like that. And don't feel too limited. You can go complex or simple. You can use text or imagery. The choice is yours. However, there are some more specific requirements uh, that I will go into later in this video. This is the first ever challenge of the month with a cash prize involved, as well as the other prizes that you've come to know and love. So that does complicate things slightly, as does the allowance of people using the Draw With Jazza branding and maybe even the implementation of pop culture references. So this month's challenge of the month is going to be a little bit more tricky as far as the submission process goes. So before we leap into the details, I want to take a moment to emphasize emphasize these three things if you plan to enter the challenge of the month. One, that you follow the submission guide and rules set out in this video and on the info page on jazzastudios.com. I'll put a link in the card and in the top line of the description. Two, that you take the time to read the terms and conditions for this specific competition. And again, I'll put the link to that in the second line of the description. And three, upon entering your submission to the challenge of the month, you must include this sentence, this statement, just making sure that you declare your agreement to those terms and conditions, just because we want to cover all of our bases. So include this text at the top of your final artist description on your submission on Newgrounds. And if you want a simple way to copy and paste that, I'll put that from the third line in the description box in this video. So now we're going to jump into the details on how to submit and the rules and the prizes. Before we do that, I do want to say though that this process might seem a little bit confusing and even designing a t-shirt might actually feel a little bit daunting. So aside from laying out in this video as clearly as possible how to submit and structure your entry, I will also be creating a guide to t-shirt design as a video on this channel which I'll release later this week. So if you're excited to submit but you don't particularly know where to start or even how to think about t-shirt design, I'm hoping that might be of help to you. Alright, so now on to a few submission guidelines. For the beginner category, you don't need to worry too much. There's no specific format required, just submit in the usual way to the newgrounds.com art portal and using the beginner tag, you can submit your entry as a standalone piece, meaning the design itself, or even uh, transposed onto or illustrated onto a t-shirt. And your entry may be traditional or digital. You can hand draw your beginner category entry. Open category entries, however, must be digital entries. They can be raster or vector. I encourage you to work with a canvas around the size of 2,500 wide by 3,000 pixels tall. Your shirt designs don't have to fit or fill in the entire of that canvas proportion, but just work with roughly that canvas size as 
sort of the boundaries of your piece. To submit your piece, you technically need to submit it to two places. The first is to Newgrounds in the normal way, which again, I'll clarify in the rules section with the usual tags. You can display your entry on Newgrounds as on a t-shirt or as a design on its own, or even both of them, perhaps showing them in some sort of combination to show them as clearly as possible. However, for your entry to qualify as a prize place winner, you must also submit your actual design to the email address listed here. That's artyshirt at jazzastudios.com. In the subject line of your email, please include include your Newgrounds username and the title of your submission as it is titled on newgrounds.com in the art portal. And attached to your email must be a PNG file with a transparent background so that your design, if it is a prize winner, can be placed on a t-shirt. Huh, <sighs> okay. I think that's most of the more complicated stuff. Let's move on to the cool stuff. Wait, no, not yet. We have rules. Rules. <laughs> Prizes come later. That's the cool stuff. I mean, rules are cool too, right? No but they're important. To enter, participants must upload their t-shirt design to the newgrounds.com art portal using the tag arty shirt for the open category or b dash arty shirt for the beginner category. That's b hyphen arty shirt. You cannot enter both categories and there is to be a maximum of three entries per person. That's right, I said three. I hope I don't live to regret this, but I'm aware that with t-shirt designs, there are different directions you can go in and I don't want to limit you too much. So just make sure that you put your best into each of them. Otherwise, if you have a great design, just focus on that. Also be aware that though you can enter multiple times, you are only able to potentially win a single prize place. Your final entry must contain a link in the description to a work in progress image or video of your entry or t-shirt design being created. You can of course submit your work in progress piece to the newgrounds.com art portal, but just don't tag it with any of the official tags. Also be careful of image orientation and make sure your submission is upright. Your entry must be submitted by the deadline, which is Thursday the 20th of July, 2017. And included in this list of rules to be an eligible entry, you must include the text that I mentioned before that I'm going to show here again, which is from the third line of the description in this video, acknowledging that you have read and agreed to the terms and conditions of this competition. The winners will be judged and selected based on a number of judgment parameters. The first being the quality and the appeal of the t-shirt design. Two, the effective use of arty imagery or text in your iconic design. And three, does the t-shirt sell? That's because three hand-picked finalists will have their entries showcased and sold on a temporary challenge of the month t-shirt shop where their t-shirt design will be made available and sold from there temporarily to the draw with Jazza community. That's right, you guys are technically the final judges of the challenge of the month based on t-shirt sales, the one that sells the most wins and the artists that designed those shirts will receive 50% of the profits from that t-shirt campaign. So let's go through all of the prizes. Let's start off with the beginner category. While the beginner category won't have their shirts showcased on an actual shop, the prize are as usual and judged as normal. The beginner category runner-up will receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The winner of the beginner category will receive a signed copy of my How to Draw book, Draw with Jazza Creating Characters. They'll also receive a Stillman and Burn 5.5 by 8.5 Epsilon series sketchbook and an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop, as well as six months premium Skillshare membership. Skillshare is an amazing website with over 14,000 classes in illustration, drawing, design, and more with a special offer for drawing with Jazza viewers, where you guys can get two months of free premium Skillshare membership using the coupon code JAZZA5 or clicking the unique link in the card or in the description. That'll give you full access to the Skillshare website, including my own class on how to be a YouTuber and all the behind the scenes on how to run your own YouTube channel, build an audience and all that stuff. And I highly recommend checking it out, especially for this month's theme, because they have a huge amount of classes on shirt design. In fact, if you go to Skillshare and search shirt, you'll find a huge array of of different screen printing and graphic typography and t-shirt design tutorials, tips, courses, and more. So if you feel a little lost as to where to start and how to design your t-shirt, Skillshare is the place to go to learn from the masters. Now onto the open category, and this is gonna be a little different to how it normally works. There are gonna be three prize winners in this month's open category, all of them are winners of 50% of the profits of the campaign that we run from this challenge of the month. Each of those designs will be made available for people to buy in whatever form I deem appropriate, be it male, female, kids shirts, hoodies, so on and so forth. I'll keep it generally limited, but what I feel is appropriate for the design that is 
a finalist, and then any sale of that artist's design in whatever form it is sold in, be it a hoodie or a t-shirt, counts as one vote. The final design with the most votes wins and it's a direct support to those artists and it's a big support to the channel and it's an awesome way for you guys to get some handmade and crafted designs that will be available for a limited time through this Challenge of the Month campaign. Beyond receiving half of the profits, the third prize winner will also get an item of their choosing from the jazzestudios.com shop. The second place winner, as well as receiving 50% of the profits from the campaign, will receive an item of their choosing from the jazzestudios.com shop along with six months free pre premium Skillshare membership, as well as a signed copy of 21 Draw the Illustrator's Guidebook, Hardcover Special Edition, and a Stillman & Burn 9x12 Epsilon Series Sketchbook. Last but not least, the first prize winner, as well as receiving 50% of the profits from their best-selling shirt campaign, will also receive a medium Wacom Intuos Pro Paper Edition, which is an epic digital tablet which has a paper mode so you can draw directly onto the tablet on a piece of paper using the very cool Wacom ink pen, and then turn your traditional images immediately into layered digital artworks that you could work on and paint using your Intuos Pro, and of course, it is on top of that cool feature and Intuos Pro, so there's over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, shortcuts, wireless capabilities, and all that awesome stuff. I highly recommend checking out Wacom and all of their products with the link in the card and in the description. On top of that, the first prize winner will receive one year's free premium Skillshare membership and an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The first prize winners of both the open and the beginner categories will receive one year's full supporter status on newgrounds.com, granting ad-free enjoyment of the website, username changes, secret content, exclusive previews and more. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsors of this challenge of the month. You can check them out with the links in the description. I highly recommend them. All of their products and services are things that I can vouch for and have used and love personally. Now that brings us to the end of this challenge of the month video and I'm going to go off script for a second and just be totally upfront with you that I expect a few complaints from this challenge of the month theme. The whole cash prize thing gets people on edge, either super competitive or angry if they don't win or complaining about the idea of the whole 50-50 thing. Please understand that I genuinely see this as a really exciting way to promote other artists' artwork and also involve you guys in the fun that I've been having making t-shirts and designing them, which honestly, I, I like, <laughs> I actually literally have worn my own t-shirts every day for the last few weeks that I've had them. It's so much fun. So I hope that those of you who participate, rather than focusing on prize grabbing, have fun with art and communicate that through your entries as well. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this amazing community. I look forward to seeing your entries and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.